Shemot chapter 38. And he made the slaughter place of ascending offering of acacia wood, five cubits long and five cubits wide, square, and three cubits high. And he made its horns on its four corners, the horns were of it, and he overlaid it with bronze. And he made all the utensils for the slaughter place, the pots and the shovels and the basins and the forks and the fire holders. He made all its utensils of bronze. And he made a grating for the slaughter place, a bronze network under its rim midway from the bottom. And he cast four rings for the four corners of the bronze grating as holders for the poles. And he made the poles of acacia wood and overlaid them with bronze. And he put the poles into the rings on the sides of the slaughter place with which to lift it. He made the slaughter place hollow with boards. And he made the basin of bronze and its stand of bronze from the bronze mirrors of the serving woman who did service at the door of the tent of appointment. And he made the courtyard. For the south side the screens of the courtyard were of fine woven linen, one hundred cubits long, their twenty columns and their twenty sockets of bronze, the hooks of the columns and their bands were of silver. And for the north side the screens were one hundred cubits long, their twenty columns and their twenty sockets of bronze, the hooks of the columns and their bands were of silver. And for the west side there were screens of fifty cubits, their ten columns and their ten sockets. The hooks of the columns and their bands were of silver. And for the east side eastward, fifty cubits, fifteen cubits of screens on the one side, with their three columns and their three sockets, and fifteen cubits of screens the other side of the courtyard gate, on this side and that side, with their three columns and their three sockets. All the screens of the courtyard all around were of fine woven linen, and the sockets for the columns were of bronze, the hooks of the columns and their bands were of silver, and the overlay of their tops was of silver, and all the columns of the courtyard had bands of silver. And the covering for the gate of the courtyard was the work of an embroiderer, of blue and purple and scarlet material, and of fine woven linen, and twenty cubits long, and the height along its width was five cubits, corresponding to the screens of the courtyard. And the columns were four, and their sockets of bronze four, their hooks were of silver, and the overlay of their tops and their bands was of silver. And all the pegs of the dwelling place, and of the courtyard all around, were of bronze. These were the appointments of the dwelling place, the dwelling place of the witness, which was appointed by the mouth of Moshe, for the service of the Levites, by the hand of Ithamar son of Aharon the priest. And Bezalel son of Uri son of Chur, of the tribe of Yehuda, made all that Yahweh had commanded Moshe, and with him Uhuliav son of Achisamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver and designer, an embroiderer in blue and purple and scarlet material, and in fine linen. All the gold prepared for the work, in all the work of the set-apart place, and it was the gold of the wave offering, came to be twenty-nine talents and seven hundred and thirty shekels, according to the shekel of the set-apart place. And the silver from the ones counted of the congregation was one hundred talents and one thousand seven hundred and seventy-five shekels, according to the shekel of the set-apart place. A becker, half a shekel for a head, according to the shekel of the set-apart place, for every one passing over to those counted, from twenty years old and above, for six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty men. And the hundred talents of silver were for casting the sockets of the set-apart place and the bases of the veil, one hundred sockets from the hundred talents, a talent for each socket. And of the one thousand seven hundred and seventy-five shekels, he made hooks for the columns, and overlaid their tops, and made bands for them. And the bronze of the wave offering was seventy talents, and two thousand four hundred shekels. And with it he made the sockets for the door of the tent of appointment, and the bronze slaughter place, and the bronze grating for it, and all the utensils for the slaughter place, and the sockets for the courtyard all around, and the bases for the courtyard gate, and all the pegs for the dwelling place, and all the pegs for the courtyard all around.